Jay Drone here. What's going on, guys? What is this stuff? Building a new drone? Um, not really. I got the Pac Man arcade game, and I've seen some people modifying the Street Fighter one to have tons of arcade games on it with this guy, and that is a Raspberry Pi, um, the Pi 3. That's what I got. All this came in the same kit. Um, it came with a case. That's what that plastic thing is to put that in a case. Came with an on off button right there, and it also came with a power supply. So if you guys don't know or you haven't done any research on this, this is supposed to be fairly simple. Um, SD card slot there, load your software, load load what you got to load, the ROMs and whatnot, HDMI out to whatever, and uh, power supply, bam, you should be good to go. USB cords there, or if you want to run... Um, you run and run this stuff. They sell uh, they sell USB capable ones, but we're gonna try to run this to a TV. We're gonna try to get software on there and run it to the TV first and see if we can do that. I also ordered a preloaded USB or not USB preloaded um, SD card for this that would take out any of the downloading and whatnot, but that don't come till tomorrow. So I think I'm going to try it myself. I think I'm going to try it to download uh, RetroPie, I think it's called, and get some ROMs on it and see if, see if we can get this going. Um, but I just wanted to show this link for this will be down below. This seemed like a pretty good package. Um, and the only other thing that I think you would need to uh, get outside of this package is just if you were going to use the same LCD screen um, on the Street Fighter one is... Uh, the convert thing to convert the LCD screen to HDMI and obviously you would want to get different buttons and toggles and whatnot because you also have to add another one to my understanding. Okay guys, so this was really, really simple. We have this cord right here, which is our power cord and we have push button on off to it. We have our HDMI out, which I have running to a TV. I have my an ethernet cord going into it for uh, internet. That way I could scrub the files that are on there and get pictures. I have a USB to a PlayStation 4 controller. I also have a USB that I keep transferring ROMs to. Now I'm just gonna pop up here, and as you can see, I've loaded a couple. So we have Sega, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, and ports, that's, I don't know what that's about, that's, I don't know. But um, N64, we'll go ahead and click in here. As you can see, Mario Kart, and what we can do, we can, go ahead and go into options maybe and we can go down here to edit games metadata maybe and we can go all the way down here keep going keep going into scrape amzo and then uh, we can just click on that one then we can click save click save and then we can go back. Now we actually have an icon on this. Um, there is a way to do this uh, instead of doing it individually one by one, but I'm not uploading a ton of games at a time. Super Nintendo, I have Donkey Kong, Killer Instinct, um, Super Mario World All-Stars, and Super Mario World. And we'll go ahead and go back here. Sega, I have X-Men Clone Wars, and again, we can hit select. We can go down to here edit this game's metadata and we can go down to scrape and we can scrape for this and no that is not correct <laughs> um, that is definitely not correct um, we're going to hit cancel um, it might not have it so yeah we'll save we're gonna go back we're going to go back um, I believe let's see let's go here and go to scraper and we'll go to scrape now and hit start this is how you would do it if you were going to scra scrape a bunch of files no it is not star wars um so i guess i guess certain ones aren't going to have um the right file <laughs> the right image uh because again this is definitely not star wars this is uh x-men clone wars and i guess clone wars maybe that has something to do with star wars but uh, i'm going to show you how to get some uh games on this very simply um what we're going to do now we are going to uh hit our start button and we are going to go down to quit and we are going to hit quick quit not quick and we're going to shut down the system once we shut down, I'm going to pull my USB out of it. 
Bam, so I'm gonna plug that into the computer. Once you've inserted your USB stick into your computer, we get a RetroPie mount, we have BIOS, RetroPie menu, ROM, splash screens. Your ROMs are where you're going to dump your games. Um, we're just gonna scroll down here to Super Nintendo, that way I can show you how to drop a Super Nintendo game, and we're looking for SNES. So, I've already downloaded the Street Fighter II Special Championship Edition, and I have that here. Again, you can just click download, and you'll get the file. This is where my files drop to, and then I could just go over here and drop it in there. It's in there. I can plug the USB stick in, which we'll do, and that game should be on there. And let's see here. We have it right there, Street Fighter. I believe these little icons right here are um, after we've already scraped it and we have icons for them. So let's just go back into the ROMs here. And N64, where is it? N64 is right here. Now right there, you can't just dump. To my knowledge um, this is the type of file that we just dumped into the Super Nintendo we actually need to extract this and we are going to extract here we've extracted now we should be able to take this extracted file and dump it into the n64 file and copy and copy and copying Now when we put this back into our RetroPie, we should have two new games. What we are going to do is we are going to click on this, we're going to right click it, and we're going to eject it. Once it's ejected, we'll put it back in the right, RetroPie. So I've inserted that, this is uh, loading here, and again, we're looking for two games. We're looking for N64 Road Rash, and then we're also looking for Street Fighter in, uh, oops, Sega. Hmm, might have put that in the wrong file. I think I put that in the wrong file. I think I put that in the Super Nintendo file. So <laughs> the 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 Street Fighter one might not show up because I believe I put it in the wrong file, which is a simple fix to go back and, again, stick the USB into the computer and drag it into the other one. Um, let's see, N64. We do. We have Road Rash now, um, as you can see right there. And, what again, what we could do, we could individually scrub these. We can go down here. We could go to Edit This Games metadata and we could go all the way down or scrape it saying scrape not scrub j drone and click scrape working there it is there it is um and we're going to go ahead and click on that that gives you a little bit of information and we can then click save and then we can go back bam so so that definitely worked let's see what happened with our street fighter that i dropped into this one super nintendo <laughs> it did drop <laughs> um, I don't know if that's going to play though I don't think it'll play Let's see if it'll play Because it's definitely for Sega Yeah, Sega Genesis We can jump over here That was for Sega Unless, let's see Emulator games, yeah, Sega Sega right there I, I doubt it'll play If it does play then uh, that's interesting But uh, we got a black screen here It's probably not going to play It's in the wrong file yeah, so what we're going to do, we are going to back out. And we have backed out. We're going to have to move that on the USB stick. But let's go ahead and make sure uh, our uh, N64 game works. And go ahead and click into here. Um, click on Road Rash. If you don't know nothing about Road Rash, Road Rash was a really fun game on Sega. I didn't even know they had it on N64. I'm sure the graphics are a lot better. As you can see here, it says Launching Road Rash. Um, press button to configure, errors are logged, etc, etc, and we, we got some, got some image, something, damn, N64, this uh, retro pry thing is pretty dope, I do believe, ooh, that's choppy, don't like that, uh, there, there it fixed itself, um, I do believe I'm going to do the Street Fighter cabinet. Get ready. Okay, so this this right here is just a demo, which I'll let that play because I can't play with one hand. But um, looks good. I don't know what it looked like as far as uh, on the N64. I will show you. Uh, might be able to do a little Mario Kartage. So let's go ahead and get back out of here. Mario Kart looks really good. Um, let's go ahead and get up here. It'd be nice if this played a demo too. But uh, guys, this is super simple to do. I am not the most tech savvy guy. I'm drone savvy, <laughs> but I'm not the most tech savvy computer guy at all. It was literally saving, uh, saving the file and uh, 
scrubbing it, I believe it may be scrubbing it to the right format or whatever of RetroPie, sticking the SD card in. Then grabbing another SD card, putting it in. Um, ETA Prime shows how to get all the ROMs and everything on the SD card. Then it's just bouncing back and forth, back and forth to what I want. And again, this will have to just jump over to the other one. But here, Banzo, it is going to have... Uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, pretty clean. Guys, I'm Jay Drone. If you haven't subscribed, smash the subscribe button. Questions, comments about this down below, get at me. ETA Prime, he's the dude how I learned how to do this. Uh, if you want more in-depth stuff, check him out.